Welcome to this month's roundup, the last of 2018, when we are launching our annual almanac. Uh, it's free on our website, and if you're nice, we might even send you one. Um, and this month, as every month, the British are worried about Brexit. It's now the highest level of anxiety we've measured uh, ever, um, which is probably uh, due to all of the coverage that we're seeing. Mrs May, of course, uh, famously didn't put her deal to Parliament, which is probably just as well, because... Uh, the British public believe it's a bad deal, and only a quarter of us think it will be good for the country. The difficulty is that, as with Parliament, the British don't agree what should happen next. We found in our polling that one in five think we should just leave without a deal. Another one in five say, let's have a referendum. And another one in five say, go back to the European Union and get a better deal, uh, which, of course, Mrs May then tried to do, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, overall, though, that's, this means that the British have become more pessimistic about Brexit's impact on the economy, and economic confidence in Britain is dropping. At the same time, though, of course, they believe that it's going to be better for sovereignty. And so perhaps we will be poorer, but at least we will have finally, maybe, taken back control. Worry about crime is up this month as well. It's risen by 10 points in a month. In London, it's um, risen very markedly, up to 35%. It's now at the highest level we've seen in the UK since the 2011 riots, reflecting the prevalence of things like knife crime in our big cities. And of course, in our Perils of Perception survey this month, we found that the British overestimate the number of deaths involved in knife crime more than anywhere else on earth, which perhaps does give us food for thought. But, of course, crime is becoming a real issue. Um, other things that we've got this month, we've looked, as, as we always do, at the perceived veracity of different professions. And for the first time, we found a group of people who are less trusted than estate agents and less trusted than politicians. And they are advertising executives. All this and much more in this month's highlights, including a look at Me Too, um, one of the trends of the year. And we found that everywhere on earth tends to underestimate how much sexual harassment women actually experience, with the Dutch and the Danes turning out to be much less nice than they see themselves as. Um, something, again, to reflect on. Um, so all this and much more in this year's Almanac. Uh, and in this month's highlights, we've got more on infrastructure, out-of-home advertising, and, of course, the connected health trends of 2018. All that remains for me to say this year is um, a very Merry Christmas to you and your families, and of course, I hope a successful 2019, which will certainly have surprises and we will be measuring them. Thank you. <laughs>